Hello, today I'd like to introduce you to my water glass xylophone. I'm Taylor Murphy and this is my presentation. So, here we have the xylophone arranged in order of very little water to almost full of water. So in, it's a, in terms of how much water there is per glass, we have a quarter cup, half a cup, three quarter cup, full cup, and a cup and one quarter. So when you strike the cup that only has one quarter, <clears throat> very high pitch, high resonance, very like tingy glass sound. And then when you strike the cup that has the uh, cup and a half of water, sorry, cup and a quarter of water, it's very much deeper. And the reason that is, is because when you strike the cup, the vibration moves quickly through the air molecules within the cup when there's no water, right? So when you have water instead of mostly air, the vibration takes a longer time to make its way through the water molecules, making a, a deeper sound. So when you strike them in order, well, so you have a, a rising and descending uh, crescendo of sound depending on the amount of water in each cup. So coming up with this idea was obviously pretty easy as it's one of the most common homemade instruments that we've seen. Um, very easy to make materials, I'm sure everybody has on hand, as long as you have you know, the same kinds of glasses, which is just something I struggled with, hence why I have these wine glasses, as every other cup I have is mixed matched and random. But uh, if you have cups of the same variety or mason jars, you can fill them with water and uh, to different degrees and you could actually have a ridiculous amount of different pitches depending on how many glasses of water you fill. In this example I've only used five but you could do a completely empty cup from a quarter cup all the way up to you know three cups in quarter increments. So you could really have quite the range of sound that you could produce with um, this instrument. So in terms of a little demonstration and what you can do with this I'm gonna see if I can come up with a little groove, a little beat So there we go so far. That's a pretty good demonstration, I think, as to like what you can kind of start to do with this. You could always do different beats, different kind of rhythms. I mean, you can play it more, less like a drum, like I was doing, and more like, you know, a xylophone, if you knew how to do that. And um, yeah, so here's my presentation. I think that about sums it up.